And a housing solution for Phoenix's unsheltered population could soon come in the form of shipping containers. That's right. The Phoenix City Council recently giving the green light to a new plan that would install refurbished containers that will be part of a larger shelter site near 22nd Avenue and Lower Buckeye Road. Team 12's Adriana Loya has the details on what it will look like. As more than 9,000 people are currently experiencing homelessness in the valley, the City of Phoenix Council approving a plan to create shelter units from shipping containers on Wednesday. This is going to be a permanent structure within the City of Phoenix. Rachel Milne, Director of the Office of Homeless Solutions for the City of Phoenix, says the project is part of an effort to find creative ways to rapidly address homelessness. The $3 million contract with Steel and Spark LLC will create private shelter units on a city-owned empty lot near 22nd Avenue and Lower Buckeye Road. Four 40-foot-tall refurbished containers like these will be placed on the shape of an axe that will create a housing pod for 20 people. The city is purchasing four pots for a total of 80 individuals or family units. Within the shipping container, each um, individual would have their own space with a bed, uh, a desk, and some shelving, um, and a door that would close for them to have their own specific space. For me, it's a, it's a step in the right direction. Amy Schwabenlinder, Executive Director of Human Services Center, where about 900 people get a shelter bed every night, says there's a desperate need for these type of projects. You know, a lot of people have been asking the city to do more to address homelessness. So I think it's kind of cool that they're looking at creative ways to create spaces for people to be sheltered in. The shipping containers are part of a larger shelter that will provide services to about 300 unhoused people at a time. This empty lot will eventually include tent-like structures for congregate shelter, communal spaces, bathrooms and showers, and a load of other amenities even for those with pets. The whole site will be what we're calling a closed campus, so it will, will not have walk-up services, so people experiencing homelessness could not just walk up and ask for a bed. It's really going to be um, a referral basis. The goal is to provide services and help transition people to permanent housing. But Amy hopes projects to keep people in their homes also get funding. It can't be a shelter-only conversation because that's just managing homelessness. Now, the project will be federally financed by reallocated funds from the American Rescue Plan Act. The shelter is expected to open next summer. In Phoenix, Adriana Loya, 12 News. All right, really interesting plan there. Thanks, Adriana. Well, just in the past few.